Index Builder easily allows you to generate and flow your yearbook index. Start by getting a student list from the school office. The list greatly helps you when editing your index. Next, log into eDesign and go to the book view. Index Builder can be ran at any time of the year. In fact, it's recommended that you run Index Builder prior to submitting each deadline. Doing so allows you to check for any misspelled names on your pages, then use your school list to verify the correct spelling. Next, go to the page the misspelled name is on and correct the spelling. Also, any changes that are made in the Index Builder, such as eliminating unwanted entries or combining Mr. Smith and Coach Smith, are saved. To begin indexing your book, go to the Edit menu while in the Book View and select Build Index. Index Builder will then search your pages for any two or three words that are capitalized. Most of the entries will be names, but you will pick up some unwanted entries. When the Index Builder window appears, you will see the list of index entries. To deselect an entry you don't want in your index, uncheck the checkbox next to the unwanted entry. Now if you find the same person with two different name spellings, such as Connor Andrews, click and select both names and click on the Combine button. You are then presented with the option to choose which is the correct name spelling. This is when your school list comes in handy. Now it is important to note, if the page that the misspelled name is on has not been submitted, you can go back and make a correction to the name on the page. This is why it is important to run the Index Builder prior to each deadline. Now click OK to combine the names. In this step of the Index Builder, you can also print out the index, or export it to a word processor or spreadsheet software. Once you have made all the corrections to your index, you can flow the entries onto your yearbook pages. Click Next to go on to Step 2 and begin flowing your index. In Step 2, you will specify what page the index will start on, the number of columns and the spacing between the columns. Click Next to go on to Step 3. In Step 3, you will select the character style of your letter header and the body text of your index. If you have not already set up these character styles, you can do so by clicking on the green button with the plus sign. Doing so will take you to your character style setup in Book Setup. Add your character styles, then close out of Book Setup. Make sure to select your styles from the drop-down boxes in the Index Builder. Lastly, select the header alignment either left, center, or right. Click Next to go on to Step 4. Step 4 allows you to adjust how the columns of the index flow onto the page. The index pages already have photos on them that I want the index to flow around. I do so by clicking on the column and increasing the number of rows in the column. Then I adjust them by clicking on the squares on either the top or the bottom of the column. To move from spread to spread that the index flows over, click on the arrows on either side of the window. Click Next to move on to Step 5. Step 5 has you confirm the settings of your index. If you need to make changes, click the Previous button to go back. Click Flow Index to flow your index entries onto your pages. If you need to reflow your index, simply go to the Edit menu in the Book View and click Delete Index. Then click Build Index and reflow the index after making changes. If you have any questions about Index Builder, please contact your yearbook representative or tech support at 1-877-362-7750.